Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Magel. Today I'm going to be doing a shade comparison video of the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Foundation. I'm also going to be trying to find which shade suits me better. So if you're interested in seeing how this looks on me and my opinion about the foundation, please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the Nomads palette by Juvia's Place. It comes with nine shades or colors in here. The colors don't have names and it doesn't come with a mirror. So I'm going to try to achieve a look with this palette today. For my transition shade, I'm going to be going in with this orange color right here. The next shade I'm going to be using is this mustard colored shade here. I'm going to be trying this green color. It's kind of a muddy green color. I'm using the same brush for all of this. So I see this beautiful yellow glitter shade here and I think I just want to put it on the um, on this part of my eye this part of my eyelid to see how it's gonna look so let's go for it it has glitter but the glitter is very subtle Oof. okay I don't think I want to go crazy with that now just So I'm going to go back I'm into this deep color here, the orange I used was my transition shade. I'm going to go back to my crease to make it look bold or highlight it once more because it's kind of disappearing with the other colors. So that's it. I'm going to go off camera and apply my eyeliner and my eyelashes and then come back and do the foundation comparison review so this is golden almond and this is cool almond so golden almond and cool almond you can tell this is more golden than the cool almond so I am going to go ahead and swatch the two shades. The first shade I'm going to swatch is Golden Almond. So this is golden almond and cool almond, cool almond and golden almond, cool almond and golden almond. So what I'm going to do today is apply golden almond on one side of my face and cool almond on the other side. So let's go to the description of the foundation. On the Bobbi Brown website, it's described as a medium coverage matte foundation. It is a long wearing foundation with a buildable all free formula that delivers undetectable coverage. It has a broad spectrum UV protection, SPF 15, and a hydrated glow for natural finish. It helps moisturize and boost skin's glow. It's a 16 hour life proof formula. It's comfortable, breathable, and weightless. The price for the foundation on the website is $50. To prime my face today, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. Ooh. 
the reason why I'm using the hydrating primer is because I think it will work better with a matte foundation. I'm not saying you cannot use a hydrating primer with a hydrating foundation. I just feel it works better for me. The first shade I'm going to apply is the Cool Almond Focus. So that's one pump. One pump is not enough. I can still see some discoloration peeking through my hyperpigmentation peeking through. So I'm going to go in with another pump. So that was one pump for my forehead. So this is three pumps of the foundation. This is Cool Almond. I don't have any foundation on this side of my face. So the next shade I'm going to be going in with is Golden Almond. I'm going to be using another beauty blender. One pump. This has a golden almond has a has more orange on the tones in it. I'm gonna be going in with another pump. I'm gonna go in with one more pump. So I have both shades of the foundation now. Remember this is the side with Cool Almond. And then this was the side with Golden Almond. So, which side do you think suits me best? I think um, I can work better with the Cool Almond. This is golden for me, um, just slightly golden for me, but if I go in with just one pump, I can make it work one or two pumps, but bear in mind that I went in with about three pumps for both sides of my face, so that is trying to achieve a full look, but I think I'll be more comfortable working with more pumps with um, the Cool Almond than the Golden Almond, which I have a neutral um, undertone, neutral warm or neutral golden undertone, not so much golden in my, my undertone. So I'll go ahead and complete the rest of my look and come back and show you how it looks. So this is a complete look using the foundation and other complexion product. Um, my thoughts about the foundation, it's matte and it's, it's a true matte foundation and using the Fenty Hydrating Primer under the foundation really helped. On the website, one of the claims is that it's a breathable, comfortable matte 
But for me, like I said, I've worn this several times and I feel that stinging discomfort, you know, on my skin. Probably just my skin. I don't think it happens to everybody out there. It's just me. But as the day goes by, it goes away. That feeling goes away. The coverage is really good, but you have to build it up to your desired coverage. For me, I'm very fine using just maybe just one to two pumps of the foundation but you know I have some hyperpigmentation around my mouth so and under my eyes so it's gonna be really hard to use just a few pumps of foundation you really need to build it up it says it's a 16 hour wear I haven't worn it for that long but I know it's a long wear because I wanted for like over six hours and I know it did well all I needed to do was blot I still had just some oils seep through I don't usually have a lot of oils because I, I have um, dry skin not much dry skin I just have some oils seep through my t just my teaser for the shade I was trying to find my shade right and so this is I applied so I applied the cool almond on this side and the golden almond on this other side the golden almond comes off a bit um well, I see I think it's perfect when I apply it initially when I apply one to two pumps it's, it matches my skin perfectly but when I do three or four it comes off as if it's a bit lighter than my skin and doesn't really match my neck this matches me I can work with this better because it's not as golden as this other one you know so it kind of matches my neck because my neck is a little bit darker than my chest so it kind of matches my neck I hear the foundation works better with the vitamin E and rich base, which I do not have. So maybe if I purchase it and try it, it's going to look better. I don't know, but I had to work with what I have. And with this foundation, I noticed that it doesn't really conceal my hair. But if you look around my mouth now, you can see my hyperpigmentation pick is picking through a bit, you know, especially around you know the corners of my mouth and if I try to build it up I've noticed that if I try to add more foundation it turns cakey around my mouth and it doesn't look nice so I'll probably have to color correct to give um, the foundation a better chance of looking you know nice or of giving me a smooth and seamless coverage so that's all from me for today please leave your comments about what which shade you think fits me better in the comment section below for those who haven't subscribed I hope you consider doing so and for those who have subscribed thank you so very very much I hope you keep coming back to watch my videos I hope you click on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a video stay safe out there everyone 